Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll learn how we can remove numbers and special characters from text by just using recursive lambda function. No need to write any VBA code or any complex regex here. Here I have a list of data and each cells contain numbers and special characters. And I have already created my recursive lambda function to remove numbers and special characters. Not only numbers and special characters, we can remove anything from the text. This recursive lambda function is fully dynamic. For example, in this text, I have a test keyword here. And in this text, I have a test keyword here. And I want to remove this test keyword from this text. Then all I have to do is I just have to add that test keyword to my replace list. And you can see immediately removed the test keyword from my text. Let's see how we can create this recursive lambda function. Before we get into this, let's understand what we are going to do in recursive lambda function. In Excel, if you want to remove or replace anything, we can use substitute function, right? Let's use the substitute function here equal to substitute. This is my original text comma and this is my old text. And I want to replace with nothing. Then I will enter double quotes two time, close bracket and hit enter. If we have a zero keyword in our text, it will get removed. And if I want to remove all these keywords from my text, then I have to write the substitute formula one more time here. So let's enter the substitute formula one more time. Now here in the text parameter, instead of selecting the original text, what we will do, we'll select the updated text. This is our updated text where we have removed the zero keyword comma and this time my old text is this one and I want to replace with nothing. Press enter and if I drag this formula down then you can see it's removing all these keywords from my text. Now if I drag this formula down then at last I will have my text without any numbers and special characters. And if you observe, for each of this substitute function, I am specifying the last updated text here. So this type of loop mechanism we have to create in recursive lambda function. Let's create the recursive lambda function here equal to lambda. Now here we have to specify the parameters. If you remember in substitute function, we specified only two parameters, the text and our the replace text. So here first parameter is our text which is this and the parameter name I am going to use is E here which is text comma and second parameter is our replace list which keywords we want to remove from the text that list we are going to pass. The parameter name I am using as RL which is a replace list comma if you remember in substitute we specified only two parameters right. But here we need a third parameter also, which is a counter. The parameter name I am using as C here. Why we need counter here? Because this counter value will help to loop through this list of replace list and also to identify whether my loop is fully completed or not. So that's why we will use the third parameter here as C, which is a counter. Comma. And I am pressing Alt Enter to go to the new line. When we are working on recursive lambda function, first thing we have to decide the exit strategy. If we don't have the exit plan, then your recursive lambda function will go in infinite loop and will get an error. And here I am going to use if condition and my condition here is if my counter value which is C greater than count of my replace list. What I am telling here is if my counter value is greater than number of rows in my replace list, then I want to return my text back, which is a P. So I'm using a trim here. So it will end my recursive lambda function if my counter value is greater than the count of replace list. If this condition is fail, then I want to recall my recursive lambda function. So which will create a looping mechanism here. And the function name which I am going to give to my recursive lambda function is remove number and character. So this is the function name I am going to give. 
So open bracket. So how many parameters we have here in our lambda function? Three parameters, right? The first parameter is text here. If you remember in substitute function here, every time we have given a last updated text. So here also we have to give the updated text instead of giving a original text. So whenever this function get recalled, that time we have to specify the updated text. And to do that, we'll use the substitute formula here. And here we'll pass our text as t, comma. In my old text is, in our lambda function, we are going to specify this range of cells. But we need each cell value one at a time. And for that, we'll use the index function. And my array will be my replace list, which is rl. And from this replace list, we have to extract one cell value at a time. And for that, we'll use the counter value, which is a C. Initially, the C value will be 1. And whenever this function gets recall, it will increment the value by 1. Now close the bracket for index, comma, and I want to replace with nothing. So we'll enter double quotes two times. Now close the bracket for substitute, comma. And our second parameter to our lambda function is replace list. So no change there. So we'll specify the same replace list here, which is a RL, comma. And our third parameter is counter. So all the magic happens here in third parameter, which is a counter. Initially, we'll pass the value as one. And whenever this function get recall, that time we have to increase that counter value by one. So here we'll enter C plus 1. Now close the bracket for custom function, close the bracket for F, and close the bracket for lambda. Hit enter and copy this entire formula. Now go back to the formulas menu, click on define name, and paste that formula here in refer text box, and give it a name here. Here you have to be very careful, the whatever name we have given here inside lambda function, exact same name you have to enter here which is a remove number and character and here in comment box we can describe our parameters which is a t equal to text comma rl equal to replace list c is equal to content. this will help for future purpose now just click on ok here now our recursive lambda function is ready now let's use that recursive lambda function here equal to remove just select this you can see it asking us to specify the three parameters the first one is text which is this one comma and the second one is the replace list so we are going to pass this range of cells to our function comma and the third parameter is counter so we'll pass the counter value as one and when it get recall, that time it will increase the value by 1. Now close the bracket and hit enter to see the results here. You can see all the numbers and special characters got removed from this all of this text. Here in this text, I have a test keyword. And I will add a test keyword here also. And I want to remove this test keyword also from my text. So for that, all we have to do, we just have to add the test keyword to our replace list then you can see immediately those test keywords also removed from our text the only important point here is whenever you are working on recursive lambda function make sure to plan the exit strategy so that your function will work perfectly that's it for today if you like this content please do like share and subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss my upcoming videos and if you have any doubts regarding this content, please put them in comments below. And thank you so much for watching.